Hi, I want to show you a new WordPress plugin I've developed for getting backlinks from social websites and it's called Slick Social. Let's take a look on the inside of Slick Social. As you see, it was installed in the plugins directory. No different than any other plugin. Right at the moment, we've got, I think it's 16, 15, 16 sites, and we're going to bump this up to 20 in the initial release of Slick Social. Now, we have siteblog.com. This is a mini blog site like WordPress.com. We have BrightKite, a Twitter type of site. Delicious, bookmark, faves, Twitter. We, we're familiar with Twitter. A1's another bookmark, bookmark, Bipsamy, bookmarker, Dago, Gabber. I love Gabber. It gives you great backlinks. Link of Go -Go, Mr. Wong, Propeller, another very strong social networking site. Propeller.com, Quad Riot, great place, search list. Tumblr. Tumblr is another mini blog site similar to WordPress.com. As you can see here, one of the good things about Slick Social is that we can assign multiple accounts under the username here. And I'm going to take you to a real account and show you what it would look like. Now, we have blog. In this particular case, I only have one account, Bright Kite, one account. But look at Delicious. I've got three accounts here. Faves, another three. I have three Twitter accounts. A1, 2, Bipsomish. You get the point. Look at Propeller here. I like Propeller so much. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 accounts set up for Propeller. Search list, 1. So the strength of this tool is going to be having multiple accounts for each backlinking site. So we randomly pick these accounts to be posted on and it'll spread your link love around. Let's go over to new accounts, see what's on the inside. Let's show you how it is. As you get new uh, accounts, you go out and set up user accounts. You would enter your username and password. If you went out and create it at blog.com, some blog domains, you'd enter that here. Go over here and pick which site you want to enter your information for and then you would add that and you have a link it would go back to the original that I showed you where all your different accounts on the uh, specific bookmarking sites are going to be. Let's go down to options. In here, this is where you're going to be setting up how many social websites you want to pick. In this particular case, since I have multiple user accounts, I'm bookmarking to all the bookmarking sites. But if, if you wanted to, you could pick two sites and it will randomly pick the two sites and randomly pick the two user accounts or five or whatever amount you want to. And that's going to get changed. So in the future, it's going to say min max. Like if I had 100 bookmarking sites, for instance, I would say, well, pick between 30 and 50 bookmarking sites. So that's going to change in the future. But right now, we can throw a number or we can put all. And it will randomly go out and pick the different user account for each bookmark account. Now, Gabber has some settings where it requires you put in a category for Gabber. Propeller, same thing. It requires you pick a, a spot for your Twitter and your BrightKite account. And for any Twitter type of an account, you have what they call as a URL shortener. So you'd have to go out and get the API key, which is right here. You would add that in there. So this will be a requirement if you're going to post a Twitter type of accounts. You're going to need to go to bit.ly and sign up there but that would have been explained in the, the manual if you own slick social once it starts posting backlinks for you we have a report section here what this does it goes out to gaber gaber and it reports to each site that it has a success now one of the problems we have and there's nothing we really can do about it you have to live with this if you want to use slick social is that you're gonna see some error messages sometimes the post is there sometimes there's a timeout and the amount of time it takes to report back to your blog will create an error but it's still submitting to the bookmarking site many times with Twitter and BrightKite, see right here, BrightKite success, Twitter had a success. Sometimes, this now these are all links that were posted the 24th today as I make this. There's over 25 links I sent out there automatically to each place. Actually, it's 30, 15 and 15. There's 30 links without even doing anything. Now, getting back to, sometimes you're going to see error messages. And I just want to, there's none on this sheet. Now, these are all links. Keep in mind, these are all links. Okay, here's another one. It could it's more than likely it was a timeout. I went over there and checked the link was actually there. So if you wish to use Slick Social, you're just gonna have to put up with these error messages because in general ninety nine percent of the time the link is gonna be there. And this here tells you that it's actually posting and you can see the different accounts here. In this particular case, this guy Ben, Andy, Dave, all, Traff, Dave, 
See, it spreads the accounts out. Here's another one that's different. So thanks for coming by and looking at Slick Social.